Hello, Anatomy. Welcome. Today, uh, we will be talking about uh, how it is that you uh, urinate, okay? Meaning the process that your body goes through in order to excrete waste from the body or to uh, get urine out of your bladder. Uh, so we have talked about the different uh, homeostasis levels, uh, the hormones, things like that, how to get the nutrients and the waste, uh, how, to, how to manage that all. Uh, and that's all really going to be happening in the kidneys. Uh, and we know urination is not necessarily uh, goes straight from the kidneys to outside. We know it's going to collect into the bladder. Uh, and then that reflex is going to happen uh, there. So one, what we need to understand is that the urine is made in the kidneys. Then from there, it goes to the bladder and then out of the body. So we are uh, currently in this state of urinary system. The urine is already made and now it's on its path outside of the body so our body can get rid of it. Okay, and the first structure from the kidneys, okay, is it going to go into the ureters. Okay, these are these tubes, the muscular tubes that are going to connect from the kidneys into the bladder here okay and these will contract every 30 seconds press uh, pushing uh, the urine into uh, the bladder here okay so uh, you get these wave-like contractions that are going to sweep along and uh, move the urine into the bladder going from the kidneys uh, and into the bladder okay now you have the urinary bladder this is a hollow organ uh, this organ is designed for it to stretch, okay? As it fills, it's going to stretch, okay? And we'll talk about those kind of stretch receptors and things like that and how they're going to be used. Uh, now you're going to have an internal sphincter there. Uh, that is uh, involuntary control um, as well as being able to control that to discharge the urine. So we'll understand how to go around and go through that. Uh, and as far as why you're allowed to uh, urinate. Um, so you have kidneys, ureters, now you're into the bladder, now the urine is going to move through the urethra and into uh, out of the body. Okay, so that is this process as far as how we are going to go about doing that. How is it your body is going to tell it uh, to um, release the urine? Okay, uh, so some some people can't or don't have this uh, control. Okay, usually in uh, the babies and uh, older adults, they they lose the control of this reflex, and uh, they're that's that's why they wear diapers and things like that, is because they don't have this uh, control. Um, so. It is something you can control. Uh, so let's understand what it is. And first, it's going to call, uh, be called the micturition reflex. Okay, this is the reflex, just as you had the defecation uh, reflex. This is the same uh, idea. Pretty much, you're going to have stretch receptors, send a signal to the brain, then send a response, and then relieve yourself. All right, so understanding this, okay, this is a... Uh, breakdown of it. Now, one thing you want to understand here is that you kind of have two different uh, pathways that are happening. You're going here to there as well as um, from there to there. All right, so you have two kind of different pathways. It's all going to start the same. It's going to start with this sensory uh, receptors here. Those are going to be your stretch receptors located on the bladder. As those stretch, it's stating that it's sending, it's going to receive the signal that your bladder is getting full. Okay, then it's going to send off signals um, that, that stimulus to uh, the body. Okay, well, A here is going to go through the parasympathetic preganglionic motor fiber in the pelvic region. Okay, what that is saying, par parasympathetic is autonomic preganglionic that meaning that that's the pre or before the brain uh, for the most part and it's going to be a motor fiber uh, in this pelvic region here okay uh, then what's going to happen you have the postganglionic neuron in the intramural ganglion stimulates the detrusor muscle contraction okay uh, so what you're having here uh, is you're going to have think of this as um, one, whoops, sorry about that. 
uh, I don't know how to erase it, but anyways. Uh, so think of this as this is going to be uh, afferent and efferent type of uh, nervous systems. This is kind of more of a quicker reflex. So here you're going to have the afferent um, nerve that's going to carry the message to the efferent nerve, which then will cause a reflex. Similar to those of the reflexes that we did where you hit your knee and things like that. You didn't have to think about your knee moving. It just does. Okay. Uh, we're, same, same thing kind of here. But there's an extra kind of step here where you gain voluntary relaxation of the external uh, sphincter here. Okay. That's the, that's the part that we want to make sure you control, right? That's when you're able to control and relieve yourself. Uh, so you have the process of uh, those that can't, they lose control of this and it's done um, involuntary, meaning you, you don't have any control over it. Okay. So these here, 2A, 3A to 4, you have an a, uh, efferent, or sorry, afferent with an A. It's going to pretty much what that means is it's sending. It's going to receive this signal here. It's going to send that signal, and then it's going to go to this um, neuron or this muscle here. Therefore, it's going to be able to uh, relieve itself and voluntarily relax the external sphincter. The other pathway okay is you have the interneuron that's going to relay that uh, sensation to the thalamus so what's happening here is you're going to receive this signal that signal then is going to go to the uh, brain or the thalamus okay so that that uh, information center into the brain and then you're going to get a projection fiber from the thalamus that delivers sensation uh, to the cerebral cortex and eventually uh, volunteer, uh, a voluntary relaxation. So you kind of have kind of two different ways about going, going about it. And then finally, once you get here, urination is going to occur. Uh, so to help you understand kind of this, here's a diagram here to, to help. All right, so going to uh, this idea of what is going to happen. All right, well, first off, you're going to have, um, let's see what color, we'll start here. Okay, this is going to start the color. All right, so the sensory fiber in the uh, pelvic nerve here. Okay, this is kind of these stretch receptors are going to receive this information. All right, it's going to receive that stimulus saying that the bladder is full, it is stretched, it's at max capacity, it needs to be relieved, it can't uh, have any more. So what's going to happen is uh, it's going to then send the signal and how it goes about doing that. Okay, 2A here, okay, is that process here of the preganglionic motor fiber in the pelvic nerve. What you need to know is afferent is going to receive signal, efferent is going to send response. So therefore in this reflex here, you're going to receive it through the afferent um, fiber. You're then going to send the response through the efferent fiber, and that response here is going to be this. Okay, so the postganglionic neuron in the intram intramural ganglia stimulates the detrusor muscle contraction. Okay, so what it is, is you're going to send the stimulus that your bladder is full. Okay, your bladder is, is stretched out so much that it's not going to... Uh, or it needs to relieve itself. So that's going to send that signal. Okay, that signal then goes to um, pretty much through this here, uh, this kind of reflex here, uh, spinal cord, and then it gets sent back to here to uh, finally uh, stimulate the detrusor de muscle contraction. Okay, pretty much going to be squeezing this to force the urine out. And then finally ending up here. Okay, where that is going to be voluntary relaxation of the internal uh, and external sph uh, sphincter. So therefore, it can relieve and go through your body. So that is that first uh, kind of uh, process here that is going to happen. Okay, the other is going to start here as well. Okay, where you receive the, the stimulus. Okay, the stretch receptors are activated. All right, um, then what's going to happen, it's going to move up here, get located there, and then go out to eventually 
being able to relieve yourself. Okay, but how is it going to do that? All right, well, it's going to start with the sensation, stretch fibers, that's going to send it on its way uh, through interneurons. Those interneurons are going to um, be able to send that information to the thalamus where it is going to process that information. Now your brain knows, hey, I got to really use the bathroom, okay? Uh, and then finally, it is going to want to relieve itself, okay, voluntarily, hopefully. Okay, so now you, your, your body and everything is working together. This is stating that it is um, ready to go. You need to rush off and go use the restroom in order to relieve yourself. Uh, so that is the McTurrician reflex. Um, kind of two different things going on uh, all at the same time uh, in order for you to uh, use the restroom. So you need th to understand that those that can't, or don't have a full control of this, um, those are the people that, um, you know, wet themselves or, you know, usually you see that in, in uh, uh, babies and adults, things like that. It's mainly because you end up losing this part here. The central nervous system uh, is, is starts to, to fail and these relays are either slow, um, meaning you can't make it to the bathroom in time, uh, or you just simply lose voluntary control of it and it, uh, it becomes involuntary and now you no longer can control when you go to the bathroom. Uh, it just happens, okay? So you see things like diapers, if you lose control of it, uh, so those are there for that. That way, you know, you don't make a mess of yourself. And then if you have a bigger problem where it's involuntary control, you don't even have really the urge to... Um, there's a disconnect here. You can see people with uh, colostomy bags or, or uh, you know, bags pretty much that uh, you you hook in and fills up for the most part. So it kind of gets out of this. It doesn't necessarily use the bladder. So there's there's a lot of different you know nervous things that are going on here to uh, control how you urinate. So. Um, that's it for today. A quick one. Uh, it wasn't too long. Uh, you guys do have an assignment, so make sure you finish that assignment. Get that turned in today uh, for your class uh, and your points. Make sure you answer your question on the uh, for the daily question. All right. Enjoy the weekend.